You're stuck on own, to neck. Why won't you work? And yeah, you have to work. click over to Twitch and then enter in your Twitch info. I'm saying I don't have the Twitch option. Then you, you need to get the Twitch plugin for XSplit, which is gotten Wait, somewhere. I that. <laughs> there should oh, be a plugin for Twitch. Net. You just download that and then restart oh. XSplit and. I'll mute myself again for a moment and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, cool. In the meantime, uh, this is finals of the. Four players Liga tournaments um, for the 2012 season. This is ter their uh, 42nd uh, tournament, and uh, this is the finals. It's going to be Real Terror versus Tie Boy Incoming, and there's players on some teams, and that's about it. I'm sorry, I was like distracted by some stuff. Uh, there's some players on some st on some teams. And a little bit of an engagement up here at the top. Uh, and Scrubix really trying to kill Ari right there, diving through the entire enemy team to do so. They get exhaust off on Ezreal, but Inceptions is able to keep up with him. And then dashes back through Bone Crusher to escape the fight. Good play, Inceptions. Having the uh, presence of mind to instant cast a spell. I mean, to jump out of a fight like that. And they're going to resume trying to get some capture in on the tower but they haven't gotten quite a lot of it. And Ari now getting taken down, and Ezreal just narrowly escaping, as PG Neo style getting out away there. Knight's taking some hits, and uh, retreating from the fight, but seems to be okay. Inception's low on health, but has a little bit of mana left, so can contribute to this fight still. Wants to get a stud in on subway, but they get taken down instead. Now Scrubbick's gonna get crowd-controlled and killed. And Jace is gonna fire off a shot blast, and uh... Not hit anything, it looks like. Wukong's gonna come in, Knights comes in and gets a triple kill! Now Knights just needs to be alive and kill Jace to quadra kill, but that's not gonna happen because he's dead! Bat! Hit R with the hammer! You're so mean, Jace. Putting the hammer down. Scrubix and crew diving in for Ari. Ari's activated her spirit rush! She can use it a couple more times now, it's on cooldown. There we go. So you pick up a health well and just kind of hang out, and Real Terror is going to pick up the point. And bottom lane, there's uh, Dominus Arts is low on health. Kind of. It's Riven, so... What? It's dead! Oh my god, he killed the Riven! Maokai killed the Riven! I don't know how I feel about that! So, uh, yeah. To be fair, Maokai does have a strong early game, so it could be down to that. Whereas, although saying that, if Riven's losing early, then it may not have the combat potential as in farm, and it does have to go very, very close and is susceptible to harass. So, we'll have to see how it goes from there. And I will be back in a minute. I have just got the Twitch TV plugin set up properly. Woo! So, I'm just going to edit the stream so I can stream. Yay! Alright, Scrubix is looking around with that, like, blacked out, dark as night, gothic poppy. And, uh, Inception is killing some minions. And there's a pause! Because... A game of pause. I'm gonna sit here and look at the screen. Look, sepia tone! There's a house in the upper right corner. I wonder whose house that is. I would sell that house. And those houses in the middle? I wouldn't live in those either. True shop barrages come flying through them all the time. It's kind of scary. Shen just dashes through your house, knocks over all your furniture, and stuff falls out of the cabinet. Don't want that. Look at the mini-map. Uh, Real Terror, I think, has got better positioning here. Because if the game resumes, I can cast more. And it's... Whoa, my camera went out of control. My camera went out of control. Okay, there we go. It's fixed now. And I got desync. Every time they pause, it desyncs me by a few seconds. That's hard to get back up to... It's hard to get back up to live. Dang it. I'm behind a second and a half. Well, Wukong's walking through walls and shit. I know it's just lag, but... And I am back. I have set up the Twitch stream. I am now streaming it to the other viewers. My apologies for any downtime there to any viewers, but Owned was being a bit of a bitch, so we will now set up and carry on with the game. It seems real terror holding the free cat butt. That's the one poking anyone out to stop them being able to engage. I don't know what to say now. I'm a bit lost. There we go. I missed the first five minutes I got of the it. game. Well, I missed some of it too. I was behind like a second and a half and I kept trying to catch up, but the pause desyncs a little bit. Oh, so I am two, I no, am, uh, damn it. two seconds just... behind live at the minute. Okay, I just got back to live again. 
Okay, I'm going to press jump to live myself. We'll see what carries on from yeah. here. We have real terror mobilising around the midpoint with Maokai actually, meaning that Aurelio is trading in against Riven, but perhaps she feels Maokai is a tank, maybe more useful top at the minute. They are pushing in to catch out Thai boys as they aggress on the top turret, potentially splitting the team. Pretty nice but shot it seems Thai boys are grouping up with Bone Crusher holding off as many as possible to prevent an engage, but Maokai does catch his snare on. Ezreal, hello, blinks out safety, but Scrobex on Poppy does manage to close the gap and SPG now style as Ezreal again. And we need to shout as the viewers like shouting. <laughs> Alright, I will shout it up for... Uh -huh. I will be overly excited for the rest of this cast. Sillian getting really low on health and only one HP as well. They have to retreat back off to the opposite side of the turret. And there's Garrison thrown down on the tower right there. It's used now on the turret. We have Honig that is quite low half an hour, so could potentially be picked up by Scrubex on his way in around the bat there, picking him up, and he does pick up, up Honig Dash here. Or Honig Dax, however you say it. I don't know it, how to pronounce that, but Bone Crusher that's caught that's in the Maelstrom gets taken down. Cyclone comes out, only one HP gets oh. surviving with not quite only one very, HP. Very small. But he survives with multiple only one HPs. They're taped together. Blue. Oh. Duck tape or gaff tape or. Salatate, that's the question. Or was it parcel tape? We'll never know. Maybe we should ask. I don't know what half of those tapes that you just that said were. Kind of tape has been using. We see Jace is near, Barty is holding the point, and he has got his pickup. So it is. Uh oh, like Poppy Jace. throws that down the uh, invulnerability on Leona. Tries to make a dive for Ezreal, but doesn't doesn't really get a lot. Poppy doesn't really have the counter push to delay a cap on the turret. No, Poppy's but terrible at killing reinforcements have arrived in the form of Malkai, Jace, and Lulu, whilst. Thai boys are split off, two of the members being Ariane Wukong are separate from the fight. Leona was ultimate, does manage to get her out of the fight in time, but Ezreal does fall and doesn't have revive available, but does have his ultimate. Scrubex is low health and is sitting right at the back at the minute, waiting for a solid engager of stun, but looks like he's going to die tonight. Not quite. Very, very narrow escape by Scrubex there on Poppy. And we see a Cillian, well, a Lulu Walk coming up there on Bastard One's Jace there giving him the survivability to stay in the fight and carry on poking, but it looks like Red do have the health advantage up in this top fight, so they could potentially take an objective, but Poppy is taking out Wukong. No, Wukong narrowly manages to kill Poppy with the Storm Shield damage. We had a great cross-map shot by SPG Neo style, throwing the True Shot Barrage all the way across the map, and I think the only reason they lost that fight is just because they were low on mana. They had really good engagements at the, at the first and second parts of that fight. They just didn't have the, uh, Riven, what? No, that's Blue Team's tower. You can't have it. Stop that. It's Riven's now. It's Riven's turret. No. Now. I've got to say, Bone Crusher is there to help him as well. It doesn't look like Inceptions will be going anywhere. Between a tank and Ezreal and Riven, that's a lot of damage output. And Dominus Arts very narrowly escaping there. Just a sliver of health left. Dominus Arts and his pact with Satan letting oh, him escape. Yeah. Oh, kind of missed with the Solar Flare, though, but that might have just might have been for Man's SPG Neo style gets caught a little bit there, and uh, he's right. not going to be alive very much longer. He's dead. Well, he's been found out of position a couple of times now. The gap closers have managed to get to the Ezreal, but the objective is now in Toy Boy's favor, so that's 10% extra damage to all the surviving and members. And only 1 HP turning around the real tower for his team. Jace is going to get a Storm Shield. Storm Shield, Jace is scary! Two-person gank down bottom. I'm scared for you, Necrogen. Uh, only one HP getting chased down. I managed to stop the Storm Shield cap either. It's a bit of a shame. Necrogen is very low health. Riven's got her ultimate up. Will go for the... Oh, but Cillian arrives on Lulu just in time to get the ultimate off and keep in high health. But there are three members of Tie Boys down bot now going for a big, big gank. They do manage to take Cillian out, and Necrogen is now surrounded and on his own. He's snaring in towards Leona just to try and turtle on the tower a little bit longer, but it looks like Necrogen is going to be falling as well, and Thai boys will be taking Box Turret away from Real Turret. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's no longer Real Turret, it's Thai Turret now. Up at the top end of the map. And whilst SPDO oh, is alone, delaying both a Jace and a Poppy, but good positioning by Bass. Body blocking the shots from Ezreal does allow Scrub X to capture the point. Yeah, body blocking Although, is one of the. But as it stands, there are three points in. Oh, Ooh, yeah, body ahead, blocking is one of the key things that you don't see too much in uh, in this game mode that I think is going to be something that separates people later on in skill level. Good solar flare down at the bottom lane, though. Uh, it will land that. But there comes a shot from Jace, taking a huge chunk out of Bone Crusher's health. And now Jace getting in close.
Gets Bone Crusher with the hammer. Malcoy's garrison. Did well up there. Mal Malcoy's garrison did work to reduce the tower damage taken, and now it looks like the tower will be going back towards real terror. They can have the tower back at, at last. Top fight. Cillian has been taken out by Knights and Honig Dask. Oh, but Scrubex is here to try and delay the cap, but he just gets destroyed rather quickly. Jace is here, but as imbalanced as Jace is, I don't think before he's got an Infinity Edge he'll be 1v3 in anyone. And we can't... Oh! Very well placed Ezreal Ult drops past the one very low there, meaning he can't quite finish off Wukong in a duel, and he gets picked up. And that is top turret back to Ty Boys. They are coordinating quite well around the map here. They're managing to hold three points and counteract wherever Real Terror are going by sending three the other direction and just delaying with the other two that it's are okay, left. okay, Jace just needs that IE that he's got! Oh, Blue Deck, this is all we need. 340% Darrett, balanced. It's 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 balanced in such a yeah. way that it causes the scale to tip to one side. It's very intentional now. Yeah. Uh, Ari getting caught, taking some hits, but her team is right there to follow up on. And a good solar flare from Leona. Very long range. Did manage to stun and lock down Scrubex on Poppy there. And it seems cleanup is arriving now with an Ezreal with a Storm Shield. Bast Bone Crusher has now caught Bastard 1. If he can't escape, he's going to be getting, for want of a better word, bombed, perhaps. Yeah, SPG now so has managed to get on there, but there have been no Phage procs. But he dies anyway. Oh, there's no Phage. That's why there were no Phage procs. Well, that's that that's, that's interesting that you can't proc Phage when you don't have a Phage. That's the one coming immediately back into the fight, trying to disrupt things. Somebody hit that Wukong! Cat there. It isn't quite neutralized, meaning they are still holding on to two points. And Knight does manage to jump back to the Crete Wave, but isn't quite fast enough to get away from the Poppy and Aurelia combo. I mean, he does get taken down by the full team of Real Terror. Riven is heading top now, though, so we'll have to see what happens here. If Necrogen twigs on fast enough to cap their own bot lane, but Riven could clean up, meaning if they do win a very big team fight, top but good ultimate by Bone Crusher there. Dominus Arts around the back. Malkai is capping the bot lane of Dominus Arts at the minute, though, so there is nobody bot lane to cover it. Basta 1 survives. It looks like that was a bad play by Dominus there, as they didn't quite manage to clean up, so is. Dangerous move in going top lane to try and clean the fight to get an extra mid cap out of them. Didn't work. And Scrubex is back capping mid point as well. Whilst Maokai is standing there. Look, looking at the bot turret. Enjoying the change of pace from losing his own bot turret here. Yep. You know it's a real turret when you have a, you have a Maokai sitting next to it. SPG Neo style though. Getting stunned. Getting taken down. And... That is a dead Ezreal. Dominus Arts, though, comes up into the fight, though, looking to mix it up with that Broken Wings combo. Right, right but Bast 1 has arrived on Jace with Infinity Edge to show how perfectly balanced he is and how his damage isn't broken. Yep. And how you should clearly build Sunfires and Triforce Of course, on Jace. yeah, Sunfire, I Triforce, mean, Jace. It's a great build. Body block! Yeah, that's what's up, Neo Style. Get out! Oh, you can't body block that. Oh, it won't kill anyone anyway! <laughs> Very, very, very low health, but they're going to have to back off. So now, Ty Boys are going for a big push on a lone defending Jace. He does have the poke to serve on, but Dominus is trying to body block at the minute. As mentioned earlier, that is a key skill in high level play. Being able to stop the poke to allow your own cap to go freely. And this will be... Ty Boys have reclaimed their own bot turret, but Bone Crusher goes too deep and does get caught. We've got Maokai and Poppy, and lands an ultimate. 80% slow, perfectly balanced as well on Poppy, managing to slow, a cat, slow her chase there, but two people on a point, and Bone Crusher does have Garrison up to stop the cat. But now we have Cillian, only one HP, and Scrubex there to fight, fight the two people on the opposing side, but we do have Knights coming in around the back on Wukong. Oh, I don't know what to say. I'm well, Dominus starts taking a lot of damage. Poppy's actually doing a lot of work here. Scrubex is trying to get bone crushed. Poppy, don't stand at that. Oh, health, that health, painkiller moment. Yep. Is that? That's a that's some breath oh, of the living God. status right there. Oh, Blimnet Knights as well is now just in the fight with very very little health. Goes back in, but they do manage to take out Poppy in the trade there. Dominus Arts is very low health, defending his point against Cillian on Lulu though. It looks like they're in a good position to take care of this top lane here, as long as Inceptions can keep control over Bone Crusher. And we see that stun coming down right there. Oh, no. that's the problem with something quite as durable as, as Aurelia, is it can delay and make its way through anything. Because she's got a big old shield. Just slowly walk. And we do have past the one just recalling freely above Bone Crusher there. 
So Bone Crusher is alone on half half defending, but Arya has now arrived in Ezreal and Wukong are on the way. Although it looks like Wukong will be grabbing the Storm Shield. So we'll have to see what happens from here. We have the SPG Neo start using the Arcane Shift to get onto the point to get away from Cillian. Lulu is quite an annoying champion with her slow, and now Jace getting back up into the fight. Wukong's coming up from behind. They might be able to single Wukong out, and he's like, nope, decoy! Not gonna be there. Jace does almost have enough for his last whisper as well, so even tanks won't be able to stop the abuse. 70, 60 gold, and he's got enough for a last whisper. Infinity Edge, last whisper Jace, perfectly balanced, as we yep. all know. And he does more damage in, in a single second than most champions can deal in a full barrage, but we do have Thai boys... Well, not quite face checking. Bone Crusher checking with a Zenith Blade there to try to go for an engage on the mid bush, but Real Terror aren't mobilizing there. They're mobilizing very nearby in their own jungle, very near in the speed shrine. Both sides are waiting here, but it looks like Poppy has been seen and Cillian's been caught by Bone Crusher. The owner is just caught on the end of uh, the owner ultimate there, though. I mean, he is slowed. Knights is now separate from the team, though, and under abuse from Cillian and Bast the one on Jace, and he does fall while Scrub X has taken out Ezra. Well, Ezreal's managed to get out of the fight on Narrow. A very, very small amount of health there, whilst Bone Crusher just delays things as long as he can. There's not much else you can really do there when you're alone, top as a tank. Knights is back with Revive, though, but isn't quite on time to stop the cap on top. He has gone in on Cilia, though, to try and, try and prevent the full cap and leave it neutralised, but it does mean he is falling now, which means that his Revive is down and that Tie Boys are a man down for the following fight. Inceptions. Bone Crusher narrowly. Yeah, narrowly gets away from a Zenith Blade there. Dominus Arts coming to join the fight as well, but is Necrogen going to get caught? He went up towards a Leona. He is caught in a Zenith Blade stun and more stun combo. I've got to say, Riven and Leona hurts. Yeah, between a lot. the two of them, they have four uh, hard disrupts, interrupts, whatever you phrase those as. Scrubix dives in but gets an exhaust immediately, though, gets a hugeify from that one champion that's short and has crazy slow. Only one HP back in the fight though, trying to get someone down. Everyone on the enemy team getting really, 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 really low. Uh, the members of Thai Boys is just kind of just their health just keeps dipping and dipping and dipping and dipping and dipping. But there's really no one to follow up on that damage. Like they don't have any way to kind of keep them contained. He's going aggressive now though. He is going in and he doesn't quite catch the two people out or recall him. But he is now. You activating his ultimate onto the tank there, but didn't follow up, didn't go any further, as he realised Leona does pack quite a lot of CC to keep him stunned and stop his chase on River. And we do have all the members except for Cillian of Real Terror backing off and coming back on full health to defend the point against a low health Dominus Arts and a low health Hanig Darkon. Harry there. SPG Neo style on the other side of the Necrogen Harry. right on in. Only one HP goes in, helps take down Ari right away, pops that Maelstrom. The ultimate from the owner there does only catch one member of Real Terror, which would be Cillian. And it looks like Real Terror are cleaning up on Thai Boys at the minute. But Wukong does manage to just kill Bast One's Jace there. I'm not sure how it happened, why it happened, but somehow it happened. Wukong just outdoored to Jace. We have now seen it all. Dominus Art still running around, trying not to die, delaying the caps a little bit longer. And Bone Crusher's Leona is still bot lane with full health managing to fend the turret. Somebody heal that windmill. Meaning the. Although the point margin is very close this game 110 points to 179 points, but the three point favor Perfectly is in symmetrical real terror recalling never do. solved anything. Bottom lane, both players going back at the same time. There are Scrubex and Inceptions, and I like that bush. That's one of my favorite bushes. People don't check that bush nearly as often as they uh, should, but SPG Neo style does. Uh, Manages to land a mystic shot there, which does does make it very visible if people are in the bush. It does trigger his passive, which is another buff to check out for. And we do have a sweeper on Cillian, who landed a Glitter Lance on Ari there, which means that they know that Thai boys are located in the bit of wait for a fight. But is Cillian going to go too close? Knight does engage. Scrubex has altered Ari, but is very, very, very low power for the minute. Inceptions has been... Hit by Leona stun there. SPG Neo style is very, very quickly eaten by Poppy damage there, as is Knights on Wukong. Poppy on Dominion is a very, very scary foe to be against. She isn't handicapped by her inability to farm as she is on Summoner's Rift. 
making a very, very strong. In a similar way to Cassidy, both champions are much stronger on Dominia than they are in Summoner's Rift. A, courtesy of mobility, but B, they're both bad farmers in Summoner's Rift, but with the higher passive gold on Dominion, it evens the playing field quite a bit and makes the champions that are weak without farm but strong with it that little bit stronger. And the owner does manage to land an ult on Bastard 1 and follows up with a very, very tight Zenith Blade there. Scrubex is trying to recover. It was a very long distance ultimate too, all right there, tagging, uh, tagging Jace with it. He turned around to interrupt. Uh, the cap on the drill, though, and was able to get that, but died as a result, and they really need Jace. There's the garrison on the tower. Inceptions comes in, but takes a lot of damage from Ari's Orbit Deception, trying to get SPG Neo-style down. Scrubix comes in to help out, and by killing Ezreal, bought Irelia a few more hits before she died, and now Knight's coming in from behind. The Yordle turned into a hat. Actually, Blue died so hard, I don't even see her on the map anymore. And now Scrubix, like normally there's a hat <laughs> left over, right? But no, nothing here. Scrubix gets slowed and Zenith bladed and, and bad things happen. Jace coming in from the back, fires off that shock blast, dived in with the hammer. I don't know about the hammer mode there, but he does manage to take the own down. And Knight is under vision from the sweep there, so they do know that that was a decoy of him waiting behind. And they do clean up and they are still holding three points, but Dominus is getting aggressive on, Dom on Necrogen's bot lane there. Yep. I don't know, I can't see much happening nah, against the Maokai though. He's a tree man, he, he plugs right on into the earth and uses his power source. Oh, what? No, he oh, got it anyway, he still got it! So Storm Shield versus Storm Shield Violence, but Cillian's up here to help out. So he is down now, so he has picked up nearly instantly the Cillian Bastard 1 combo there. Jace damage is perfectly balanced as we can all see. Hextag Sweeper! It's a good item, you should... You should always get one. The viewers, it doesn't matter. It's not about style things in particular. You can f you, with anyone that has a skill shot, you can check a bush as well, granting vision. And the active is very, very useful for not being caught face checking. And, and you need that instantly. in this game mode where there are no wards. You don't take clairvoyance very often. So having a hex tech sweeper, if you're if you're a champion that uses AP, it gives you AP health CDR. It's only about two thousand gold. Pick it up. It's very good, and it's not terribly expensive. Very just effective. I think it's getting a nerf, isn't it? It looks like the AP on it is being reduced on the Twisted Tree Line no, remake. Tree line make. This is Dominion, sir. No, but they're still using the same item, and the AP on it is they're being making reduced like this. Dominus Arch is dead! Ah! It's so silly, no, no! And Cillian is following up. No, no he will not, although Necrogen has went up from bot lane, but so has Riven. There, are, there is currently no one bot lane, so Necrogen has gone to capitalise and he is going to try and 4 cap, but Ari is following him, which he probably doesn't know yet, just to stop the 4 cap. But there are 25 seconds left for Tide Boys to cap this top point, or the game is over. Leona does land a good Zenith Blade, but there is no one there to follow up. Dominus Arts went the other way as Jace is there, poking and bullying at everybody. Dominus Arts is picked up there by Poppy Sun and Irelia following up. As the one is the first to die there. That is a slight flaw with the Infinity Edge Jaces. He is still very, very squishy. He's slightly tankier than your typical carry. And it looks like this will be GG with Real Terror winning. Although I told you Real Terror was going to win. To brutally honest, they did get a little And they did get Jace. It was a very strong team come from Real Terror. come to Europe more often. Real Terror keeps winning when I show up. It's good. Yeah, Real Terror well, going to take final, uh, victory over uh, Tyboy in the finals. Real Terror going to take first place. Tyboy incoming to take second place.